I was walking through the parking lot looking at cars, and I happened to notice a gentleman with a uh, with a white cane. The car is beautiful. The paint job's better than it was originally. Nice car. He was there with his friend, so he could tell what the car looked like by his friend's description of the car. It's got a black vinyl top and a dark green interior. And I was mesmerized by this. I have cone rod dystrophy. I have some peripheral vision, and I can see contrast. And it turns out that Gene lost his sight later in life, but prior to that, he was a car guy. I mean, a real bona fide car nut. There's a lot of memories and details there that are getting a little bit harder to, to pull back up. That's right. I kind of almost forgot that these cars had been. I have a kind of a rusty car. Uh, you can't hurt it. What is it? It's a 63 Fairlane. You want to take a walk over there? You could do whatever you want with it. In fact, I'll probably let you drive it if, uh, you know, we could get away with it. <laughs> yeah, well, in a parking lot with other cars, maybe not. I said, have at it. It's tube frame. Check out where he's cut the, the uh, fender for the racing tires. He's got a uh, tread plate here over to protect the top of the radiator. Oh, right here. Yep. Yeah. Diamond. Both of us kind of know the same kind of car, so when I describe a car to him, he knows what I'm talking about and vice versa. If you feel this, feel, take your hand down here where the tail light is, that's actually made from a uh, stainless steel dog dish. You know, actually being able to feel like the grill and and the little chrome pieces that were on top of the fender that had a texture of their own to them. And those wonderful wings on the back of the car, kind of taking in what senses you have and creating a picture or a memory. You piece it together and you do get that inner beauty that you can bring up. I really appreciate this. This really adds a lot to, to the show. Once I got that ball rolling, then I knew some other guys, and I took him, uh, took him over there, and he got to feel some cars with nice paint. <laughs> got to introduce you to Chuck Beck. He makes some crazy creations. Lamborghini engine motorcycle. Right, check out all these carburetors. I feel this body work. It's yeah. beautiful. It's a completely, you know, one-off creation. And I'm guessing it must have a pretty huge tire on it to handle all the power over it. Then being able to sit on it, uh, again, that was just great. Last time he was on a bike was his own motorcycle, his Triumph motorcycle a few years ago. Here's the part that is nice about it. I could tell he's pretty excited he got to fire up the V12 on that Lamborghini bike. Yep, it doesn't sound like any motorcycle I've ever ridden. I thought it sounded <laughs> kind of like a Harley. <laughs> he's having a blast, and you can tell by his attitude. Hey, G, you want to go look at some more cars? There's lots of them here. Yeah, let's do that. Anything and everything shows up here. I I'm an emotional guy. It just gets to me because I, I was just so impressed with the whole thing. I come with somebody like my friend Rob. They've got a huge encyclopedia of knowledge about older cars. It really brings us closer together. I think. Don't try to get me to cry on camera. <laughs> just look down here. There's all kinds of stuff. All right.